Good morning, beautiful people. I guess technically it's afternoon. So today is kind of an away mission day. It looks like I'm standing out in the field out in the middle of nowhere, and I kind of am. The reason for being away today is uh, all in the name of wood chips. I guess I'll show you what we're working with right here. Just the, the scope of this field of wood chips, I would say is probably a quarter to half an acre of wood chips. So anybody who's followed us for a while knows the struggle that it has been to acquire wood chips. My friend Mike, he uh, he's worked with the local tree companies and they bring him all the wood chips. And so talking to him, we've come over here, we've got wood chips from him before, and he was like, hey, like if you guys want wood chips, come out and get them. So me and Jason got together. Jason over there at Sow the Land. I'll walk over there in a minute. It was like, hey, let's see if we can borrow a trailer. <laughs> see if we can borrow a trailer and go get some wood chips. So for me, today, the rest of today, and tomorrow, this is what we're doing. We're gonna be getting some wood chips. The struggle that it has been to get wood chips, uh, having an opportunity to get wood chips, I will take it. So my friend Mike has a loader he can use, but he is not home right now. He just said, yeah, help yourself. And you know, when he gets back, he'll help, which would make loading a lot faster. But I brought some backup. Me, Jason, and uh, Brett and Corbin, we're gonna get our, our sweat equity out of these wood chips. So I'm gonna get busy. Saved by the bell. Mike just got home. He said he's gonna grab the loader and bring it down here. But at the rate we're going, we might be done by the time he gets down here. It's going pretty fast. So Jason, how'd you feel when uh, you heard about the, the score on the wood chips? I was trying to find a way. It actually came with my truck one time, but it was not even a dent. And it, w it wasn't not enough that I needed. And I'm having such a hard time getting wood chips. Yep. I, all year long, I've been trying to get wood chips and I haven't got any. You just about have to like drive around and look for the, the trucks and like, yeah. you know, flag them down. <laughs> Follow me, come to my house. Right, and then. Uh, I've actually done that. Like I've actually like offered them, here's 20 bucks. Please just drop it down the street right yeah. here. And that's the only way I've got wood chips. Even a uh, chip drop. I've been signed up for like seven years. Never got one load. <laughs> Never got one load. Yep, that's, that's what it's been for us too. But knowing Mike, I, I knew he had these and he's like, come get whatever you want. But it's just, it's just driving out here and getting something like this yeah. Yeah. to get a big dump load. That's, that was the difficult part. As long as I get a load, you get a load. Yeah. Then everything else is like great. Yeah. And so it just comes down to how much do we want to be down here loading up chips. We're gonna add a little bit more, but for the most part, we're full with our first load. So I think we'll haul this to my place or Jason's place, who's ever closer, and uh, come back for another load. We are headed out, got our first load. We're gonna go to Jason's place, drop it there. We'll come back, get one more load, and then that'll be it for today. We were not working super late, hogging up Mike's time, Jason's time. All right, let's head out. Right next to it. Matt O with chips. Man, 
That's a pile of wood chips. home sweet home we've made it back I'm going to unload this we were discussing on the way back back home uh, if I dump this in the orchard then we have to deal with it immediately if I dump it in the dugout then I can deal with it later and since we're gonna be driving all day getting several loads we're gonna get as many loads as we have time for tomorrow we figured we'd just stick this in the dugout I can get in I can get out it's an easy spot and I'm not worried about tearing stuff up when I get in here with the tractor, so perfect. Thank you guys for opening up. Let's uh, let's get it all dumped. All right, first load in. Oh, I'm curious to see how many loads I can get tomorrow. It's about two hours a load, so we'll see. Even if like one more load, we'll be set with wood chips for at least a couple projects. I'm gonna go park this noisy beast and go sit down and not drive. All right, day two, got some snacks. Uh, Brett and Corbin are coming. These two have like driver's training and stuff like that that they have to do, so yeah. that's why they're not coming. Yeah, and you know, school, <laughs> stuff like that. All right, have fun. All right. We will see you. Good luck. It's kind of a weird, it's like, oh, I'm gonna be in the car all day long. You had enough coffee? I have a thermos of coffee. Okay. I'll be, I'll be good. All right. All right, see you guys later. Bye. That's how thick I need it to choke out the crabgrass. <laughs> All right, first load of the day. Makes two loads for us. We're gonna go back and get a load for Jason. We'll see how many loads we can get before we are done. I'm really only gonna count on one more load. It's about two hours a load. Kinda eats up the day. I guess we're back on the road.
Jason? Yes. Enjoy your wood chips. Yes. I will. That was, that was worth <laughs> the, that was worth a day of driving. Thanks, man. Hey, no uh, that problem. was fun. Thanks for coming with me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Time to head home. All right, we are home. Uh, let me grab the tractor and I'm gonna head down to the pile of wood chips and I will uh, tell you guys why I need wood chips and what I'm doing with them. All right, I'm down here at this nice pile of wood chips. I can already tell you, like that looks like a lot of wood chips. I'm gonna burn through that quick. I've gotta dress the uh, uh, the orchard and it's gonna need a lot of wood chips. I bet you I could use that in one day. Hi, sister. I'm gonna tractor. Oh, you're gonna tractor with me? Okay. So, I'm gonna get all this pushed up into one pile, that way it's not hogging up so much space. That was just how the, the dump trailer dumped it. Let me get this all pushed up and then I'll grab a scoop. I'm gonna head up to the orchard and show you guys how I'm using it. So here in the orchard, here's a spot I put wood chips on a year ago. Uh, actually, wood chips from Mike. Thanks, Mike. Uh, right here in this spot, this is basically what I would like to do the entire orchard, is wood chip the whole thing, get rid of all the grass, but it would take more wood chips than I am willing to drive and go get. I'd have to have a hookup, work out something with like a tree service or something like that. Basically what, I'm, what I've been doing is anytime I have wood chips, I just top dress around all, the, all of the trees. Uh, I like to alternate. I'll put compost and then wood chips and then compost and then wood chips. And the more you do it, the less you have to do it. And you kind of get this snowball effect of uh, just wonderful fertility building up under your trees. And eventually, you're gonna have so much fertility that you can just maintain it all with your chop and drop. So in here, we're growing comfrey, we're growing nitrogen fixers like this uh, honey locust. Basically, I'm growing this exclusively for chop and drop. Uh, I'll let it get, you know, yay high, and then we'll just chop it, drop it, and let it do its thing in here. Yeah, it's got thorns, but honestly, so does a lot of other things that uh, grow around here. I'm gonna take these wood chips, I'm gonna put them in this area right around the trees. I'm gonna start choking out some of this grass. Uh, we almost got this grass licked uh, with the wood chips we put on last year. Possibly this year we might get on top of all of this uh, crabgrass, but it is what it is. We can, we can only do what we can do. So, I'm gonna get this spread and uh, see how it looks. Buggies out here. So the blueberries are starting to come in. And if we would let her, she would live out here in the orchard just to eat blueberries and strawberries. I think the only hard thing about doing wood chips and stuff like this is we do have a lot of strawberries planted. Yeah. And so I can't just like come in and just dump everywhere because then I'll bury strawberries that I don't want to bury. All 
All right, as you can see, one scoop didn't get us very far. Luckily, I got a bunch. So, probably instead of just top dressing this entire area right here, this, this was a whole load. One whole trailer load did from this tree, let's see, one, two, three, almost four, five, six trees. Uh, one whole trailer load, yeah, it was a bunch. Um, the struggle is keeping the crabgrass out of it. We put cardboard down and everything. Cardboard was two layers deep and then like four inches of wood chips and the crabgrass still came up. But it's a lot better this year. We actually came out here and believe it or not, dug up all these wood chips and got all the crabgrass out before the crabgrass had woken up uh, early spring. Not that you can tell, all the stuff we missed is starting to fill in. I imagine this will be a really nice carpet of crabgrass again if we let it. All right, I think that's gonna do it. Out here, I can smell dinner. Meg's out in there cooking dinner. I'm hungry. I don't know why, just driving, being on the road, it's exhausting and you get hungry. pick up the camera and everybody's like, scram, we're done. Like cockroaches. Yeah, it was like, turn on the light and the cockroaches scatter. Everybody knows that you were eating. Yeah. We at least caught that on camera. Yeah. All right, it was a productive day, but I feel like I sat in a car all day. Well, you kind of did. That is pretty much all I did all day. Yeah. I want to say a huge thank you to Mike for the wood chips. Yes. I want to say a huge thank you to Bill for letting me borrow your, uh, your dump trailer. That yes. thing is so handy. I need to get get myself one. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's on the list. Stock trailer, dump trailer, like a uh, bigger equipment trailer. <sighs> Apparently I've reached that stage of life where I need a trailer big enough to hold this a tractor. This list is growing exponentially. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. The, uh, the equipment trailer will replace the trailer we have with, okay. with a bigger one that I can put the, tra the uh, tractor, tractor on. on. Okay. We've right. talked about that yes, one. Yes, we have. Yeah. And then, or, you know, I suppose I could get a dump trailer that's big enough to haul the tractor. Why don't you get one to haul the tractor and the cow, and then we don't have to get a stock trailer? <laughs> she would love that. That'd be, that'd be pretty handy. <laughs> she would be so mad. We She'd just like, get to where we're going, no. and we just dump the cow. <laughs> oh, no! <Aww. laughs> no! She would never speak to us again. No, I, I don't think she'd be down with that. <laughs> no, not at all. Over opinionated cow. Oh, man. All right, with that, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.